chapter 10. Now after this, the Lord appointed 70 others and sent them in pairs ahead of him to every city and place where he himself was going to come. And he was saying to them, the harvest is plentiful, but the laborers are few. Therefore, beseech the Lord of the harvest, send out laborers into his harvest. Go behold, I send you out as lambs in the midst of wolves. Carry no money belt, no bag, no, no shoes, and greet no one on the way. Whatever house you enter, verse 8, Peace be to this house. If a man of peace is there, your peace will rest on him. But if not, it will return to you. Stay in that house, eating and drinking what they give you. For the laborer is worthy of his wages. Do not keep moving from house to house. Whatever city you enter and they receive you, eat what is set before you. And heal those who are sick. And say to them, the kingdom of God has come near to you. Seventy return with joy, saying, Lord, even the demons are subject to us in your name. And he said to them, I was watching Satan fall from heaven like lightning. Behold, I've given you the authority to tread on serpents and scorpions and over all power of the enemy, and nothing will injure you. Nevertheless, do not rejoice in this, that the spirits are subject to you, but rejoice that the names are recorded in heaven. Please stand as we continue to worship. I saw Satan fall like lightning. I saw darkness run for cover. But the miracle that I just can't get over, my name is registered in heaven. I believe in signs and wonders. I have resurrection power. Still the miracle that I just can't get over My name is registered in heaven Yeah, my praise belongs to you forever Oh, this is 
my testimony from death to life. Cause grace rewrote my story. I'll testify by Jesus Christ the righteous, unjustified. This is my testimony. This is my testimony. Come together, sons and daughters, bought with blood and washed in water. Sing the praises of the Spirit, Son and Father. Our God will finish what He started. Yes, our God will finish what He started. Oh, this is my testimony from death to life. Cause grace rewrote my story, I'll testify By Jesus Christ the righteous, I'm justified This is my testimony, this is my testimony If I'm not dead, then you're not done Greater things are still to come. Oh, I believe if I'm not dead, then you're not done. Greater things are still to come. Oh, I believe if I'm not dead, then you're not done. Greater things are still to come. Oh, I believe if I'm not dead, then you're not done. Greater things are still to come, oh, I believe. This is my testimony from death to life, because grace rewrote my story. I'll testify by Jesus Christ the righteous, I'm justified. This is my testimony, oh, I'm alive. Testimony from death to life, whose grace rewrote my story. I'll testify by Jesus Christ the righteous. I'm justified. This is my testimony. This is my testimony. May be seated. The song The Heart of Worship dates back to the late 1990s, born from a period of apathy within Matt Redman's home church, Soul Survivor, in Watford, England. Despite the country's overall contribution to the current worship revival, Redman's congregation was struggling to find meaning in its musical outpouring at the time. There was a dynamic missing, so the pastor did a pretty brave thing, he recalls. He decided to get rid of the sound system and band for a season, and we gathered together with just our voices. His point was that we'd lost our way in worship, and the way to get back to the heart would be to strip everything away. Reminding his church family to be producers in worship, not just consumers, the pastor, Mike Pilavachi, asked, when you come through the doors on a Sunday, what are you bringing as your offering to God? Matt says the question initially led to some embarrassing silence, but eventually people broke into a cappella songs and heartfelt prayers, encountering God in a fresh way. Before long, we reintroduced the musicians and sound system as we'd gained a new perspective that worship is all about Jesus, and he commands a response in the depths of our souls no matter what the circumstance and setting. The heart of worship simply describes what occurred. When the music fades, all is stripped away, and I simply come longing just to bring something that's of worth that will bless your heart. I'm coming back to the heart of worship, and it's all about you, Jesus. Redmond remembers writing the song quickly in his bedroom soon after the church's journey together, with no grand intentions by any means for it to become an international anthem. He viewed the words simply as his personal subjective response to what he was learning about worship. But when Matt shared the heart of worship with Pilavachi, the pastor suggested making a few small adjustments to the lyrics so any member of the church could relate to it as well. 
Amazed by how God has since taken the song around the world for his purposes, the songwriter smiles in regard to his own lack of foresight. It nearly didn't go any further than my bedroom, but I love that. When the music fades, all is stripped away, and I simply come, longing just to bring something that's of worth, that will bless your heart. Thank you for this day. Thank you for everything you do for us, Lord. Thank you for sending your son to die for us. We're such a sinful and corrupt world, but Lord, you still sent him to save us from our sins. Lord, I ask that you just bring us in a place that you would bring us to the heart of worship, Lord. Open our hearts that we may worship you with every fiber in our body. In Jesus' name I pray, amen.
Lamentations 3, 21 through 24. But this I call to mind, and therefore I have hope. The steadfast love of the Lord never ceases. His mercies never come to an end. They are new every morning. Great is your faithfulness. The Lord is my portion, says my soul. Therefore, I will hope in him. Thank you. 